What's up everyone, Luke here with another video. I had a crazy day today, just a bunch of busy stuff going on, getting everything ready to be able to close on a rental property on the 26th of August. And then on top of that, ended up picking up an iPad Pro 3rd gen today. It was the 11 inch, 256 gig, cellular and Wi-Fi unlock. So that was an awesome deal there. But today's video is about the insane award or payout that Apple is looking to pay the people in the world who are hackers. Apple, for those of you that don't know, was recently offering $200,000 for anyone out there who can hack iOS. And what's interesting about this program is this program used to only be for people who were personally invited by Apple, people who were, you know, spotted at the conferences or the Black Hat conferences that tech companies participate in, and they would only hand invite people. You had to have some credentials to do this. Now, Apple is basically going to be opening this up to everyone, so everyone can research, uh, you know, basically get in on this program, get a phone that is a little more open to bugs, etc. Like, it basically lets you get into the phone so that you can see if there's anything wrong with it. And what Apple's looking for is they're looking for somebody who can actually hack the iOS system without having to basically sound like a keylogger. Uh, they want to see somebody hack the iPhone with minimal interaction from the person who's actually using the phone on the other end. Now, what's interesting about this is everybody's going to be able to participate in this. And on top of that, Apple is now offering a $1 million reward up from $200,000. So if there's anybody out there who thinks that they are good at hacking or thinks they know a thing or two about computers and technology or iPhones for example give it a shot because you're going to be able to participate for free and the reward is one million dollars if you can hack an iPhone hack iOS you have a possible chance of getting a one million dollar award if you're the first person to do it I mean it's absolutely crazy it's guaranteed they're going to pay out a million dollars if anybody out there can hack iOS this is uh, just news as of August 8th so pretty pretty crazy then on top of that i believe from what i've been reading up on apple is actually going to be offering a five hundred thousand dollar reward for anybody out there who can hack a mac and hack the operating system as well with minimal interaction from the operator on the other side so no key loggers or anything like that obviously that stuff's you know pretty old um, but they're looking for somebody to actually be able to hack into the system hack into the ios or operating system and actually basically remotely you know hack it take it over shut it down crash it whatever and i mean they're offering insane awards a million dollars for the iphone five hundred thousand dollars for the mac i would assume that the person who figures out how to act the iPhone will probably then go and take the $500,000 reward for the Mac as well. I mean, if you can hack iOS and an Apple iPhone, you can probably hack a Mac, Apple laptop or, you know, desktop either way. So it should be pretty interesting to see what happens with this. But just kind of wanted to talk about this for a second. Wanted to see what everybody thought. Um, me personally, I think that it's really smart for Apple to basically encourage people to hack its system. In a sense, they're using money to motivate hackers to snitch on Apple's fault and basically get the top hackers in the world a giant incentive of a million dollars to try and hack the iPhone. Apple probably figures there isn't anybody out there who's a hacker that wouldn't try and hack the iPhone and show Apple the potential flaws of the iPhone for a million dollars. Very interesting play from Apple, and I would say that it's probably going to be effective. It's very interesting to see that Apple is doing this just because of the fact that a lot of the other tech companies out there do this, but they offer very little amounts. I mean, there are large amounts in the scope of things, but if you're a top hacker, I guess you're not going to want to expose yourself or expose the flaws of a company for, you know, minimal amounts such as 50,000, 100,000, where Apple 
was at 200,000 already, which is moderately high. And then on top of that, they're now paying $1 million. So Apple is offering a $1 million reward if you think you can hack the iPhone. Uh, another thing that I just wanted to mention in this video, uh, you know, it's late at night, so unfortunately didn't get a chance to get a video done in my office today, just been crazy busy. But another thing to mention is that prices are continuing to drop. Uh, overseas crash, everybody's taking this crash really hard. It seems to be worse than the last one. So be careful this weekend. Be careful buying stuff. Be careful of buying AT&T phones. They are not unlocking right now. Be careful of buying Verizon phones. Verizon phones are not unlocking right now either. So everything is kind of in lockdown. So if you're purchasing phones, I don't care if it's somebody you've been dealing with for the past two years. Uh, if they don't know the reselling and exporting game and all they are is a middleman and they're just selling the phones to you or flipping them to you and then you're going to flip them, make sure that you appraise everything as locked. You do not want to be buying these phones as unlocked because chances are 90% chance they are not going to unlock and you're going to lose a lot of money. So be careful of that everyone. Be very careful buying phones this weekend. Make sure you guys are pricing things accordingly. You know, even if you got to lowball people, it's better to lose the deal than to lose money. So, um, you know, if you got to go 100 under where you would normally go and it puts you at 200 profit, if it works out, great. You want to be careful because prices at the moment are currently basically jumping up and down jumping up and down so absolutely crazy i don't know when it's going to end but as i predicted in a few videos ago i think that you know the price could potentially continue to sink so just be careful when it comes to buying new sealed and open new phones with the plastic on the screens because that is unfortunately the reality that we are dealing with right now there's a lot of interesting things going on with basically price wars and prices overseas and they set the market so if prices don't continue to rise up uh, eventually I think all of our normal sellers will get the message that hey there's no buyers out there paying high prices anymore there's a really big problem with all of this price crash and price war stuff because of the fact that when this happens a lot of the less educated sellers out there that are just selling to us you know people out there who are hustling on the streets you know buying phones flipping phones getting phones whatever they're doing they don't understand when last week they're getting eight hundred dollars a phone and now they're getting 620 a phone they just don't understand they think you're screwing them they think that you are not being honest with them because you know price lists don't really go that much up down you know they, they, some people just don't understand so this price crash not only affects you know reselling the phones that we already have but it also affects us on actually getting phones so something to keep in mind for the future just make sure that you are being careful buying these new sealed and new open phones just because of the fact that everything is changing so much and you know it very well could be a very odd year for the rest of the year if this continues to be a trend so that being said just thought that was an interesting piece from apple and wanted to give you guys an update on the pricing that's going on right now and hope this helps save a, save some of you some money and i hope it makes you think before you go and just buy something because prices might not go up they might stay where they're at for a little while now unfortunately so just putting that out there just to make sure that nobody out there overpays for stuff over the price shock weekend you know last weekend prices weren't good either and they're still not good right now so that being said i hope you all got some value from this video make sure you smash that like button hit subscribe and i will see you all in the next video